I see five things that they must adhere to in the new year. The first is they must take decisions which are correct. Poor decision making based on egoistic or short term needs of the party or personal gains should be avoided. They must ensure that every single decision they take are free of corruption. That's the second important aspect. The third is the poor governance. They must take accountability for every decision. They must uphold the promises they made prior to coming into power. One example of poor decision making by this government are the decisions taken surrounding the Mathal International Airport. The largest greenfield airport in the country, the Mathal International Airport was declared open in March 2013. During the same time frame, the Civil Aviation Authority of Sri Lanka awarded the airport the International Airport Certification, allowing it to receive international flights. This certification is endorsed by the International Civil Aviation Organization or ICAO, which is a UN specialized agency. According to ICAO, the regulators of the airport should not only certify the airport, but should make sure it remains certified as traffic grows and the aerodrome expands to accommodate the future. Last year, a decision was taken to store paddy at the Mattal airport. The decision came under much scrutiny by a number of factions over the recent past. Did the Mattal International Airport receive the international certification it should receive for the year 2016? One was the rather foolish decision to store paddy at the Mattal Airport. The Mattal Airport has lost the airport certification granted by the Director General of Civil Aviation as per the approval of the International Civil Aviation Organization. Its staff was reduced, certain sections were removed and it was weakened from all sides. What was the result? This Mattal Airport, which lost the international airport license, was given a very low price by the Chinese. This is a crime. In regard to Mattal Aerodrome, we have given Aerodrome certificate in conformity with the International Civil Aviation Standards and it was initially given in 2013 and it was valid for a period of two years. So it was to be renewed this year but after taking into account the the uh, low level of operations, we extended the validity by another year and in the meantime we have scheduled a detailed audit at the beginning of next year and on completion of that uh, we will be able to uh, renew the Aerodrome uh, certification. Poor decision making is a result of poor experience in governance. Decades of political experience does not necessarily translate to effective leadership. Poor decisions such as this, while directed at the gallery, end up costing the country even more.